हेलो चिल्ड्रेन टुडे वी शैल गो थ्रू लेसन फोर इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द कंपनी रूल इन इंडिया आफ्टर द बैटल ऑफ बक्सर इन 1764 एटी द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट हैड टेकन द कंट्रोल ओवर बंगाल बिहार एंड उड़ीसा नाउ द कंपनी ब्रॉड मैनी चेंजेस इन द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव पॉलिसीज to strengthen its rule the most emphasis was given on maintaining law and order so that trade can be carried out smoothly and they could get maximum profits so let's see what were these policies dual governance in bengal dual system of government was introduced by lord clive In this system the company was responsible for the revenue collection and nawabs were responsible for maintaining law and order and developmental work means company ke paas rights and authority thi but no liabilities whereas nawabs had only liabilities but no authority gradually the company officials became corrupt they started taking money from the nawabs and kings and they also started interfering in political and social affairs of indians but when the great famine in 1969 or 70 affected india badly people failed to pay their taxes this caused financial crisis in trade In this situation the company asked for loan of almost 10 lakh pounds to run its business so let's have a look at the acts that were enforced by the british government regulating act it was passed in 1773 ad to regulate and control the company's activities by this act a governor was made in bengal and the first governor of bengal was warren hasting pitts india act it was passed in 1784-80 to address the shortcomings of regulating act 1773 by this act a board of council was established in britain the governor general was made the chief commander of all the british forces in india Some charter acts also came into force. These were Charter Act 1793 AD. Governor General and governors got the right to change the decisions of their councils. Charter Act 1813 AD. The company's monopoly in trade was ended except for the trade in tea. Charter Act 1833 AD The company's monopoly on tea trade was also ended During the British rule some administrative and social reforms were also done Let's see what were the administrative and social reforms Civil service competition was started Fort William College was established in 1800 in calcutta william jones established asiatic society establishment of madrasas in kolkata in 1781 sanskrit college in banaras in 1792 ad children during the british rule some land reforms were also done to get more profits Let's see what were the land reforms the three main revenue reforms were permanent settlement royatwari and mahalwari let's discuss these land reforms in detail one by one the permanent settlement of bengal was brought into effect by lord cornwallis in 1793 ad It was basically an agreement between the company and the zamindars to fix the land revenue. Ye zamindars or royatwari system. 
It was introduced by Thomas Munro in 1820. The ownership rights were handed over to the farmers. The taxes were directly collected from the farmers. इस system में British government farmers से direct taxes collect कर रही थी अब इसमें जमींदार का interference नहीं होता था Now coming to the Mahalwari system. It was introduced by Holt Mackenzie in 1822. In this system, the land revenue was collected from the farmers by village headman on behalf of the whole village. इसमें farmers और company के बीच में गांव का मुखिया होता था जो farmers से tax collect करके फिर company को देता था